And now for our third inductee, Michael Burgess. Internationally recognized for his performances in music, theater, film, television, Michael Burgess is one of Canada's most distinguished actors and singers. Opera performances, appearances with symphonies, Stratford, Dallas, San Francisco, all across Canada, and of course beloved for musical theater, in particular as Jean Valjean in Les Miserables. He has served as an honorary member of the Canadian Olympic team for his recording of the theme song, There Are No Strangers, for CTV's coverage of the Barcelona Summer Games. Michael believes strongly in giving back, generously donating his time and his talent to numerous charitable organizations across Canada, including Special Olympics, Easter Seals, Sick Kids Variety Club, and Kids Help Phone. He has received both the Queen's Golden Jubilee and Diamond Jubilee medals, along with the Distinguished Canadian Leadership Award. This year, Michael was appointed to the Order of Ontario, our highest provincial honour, recognizing his very special contribution to the arts. Michael is a self-confessed sports fanatic. He narrated the TV documentary, The Stanley Cup, with Ken Dryden. He has thrilled millions around the world while performing national anthems at two World Series games, two Canada Cups, the NHL All-Star Game at Madison Square Garden, and at the Memorial Cup. He was the first person to sing our national anthem at a World Series baseball game in Atlanta in 1992. He was the last to sing our anthem prior to the final game at Maple Leaf Gardens. Michael was here on opening day in 2003, and he performed during the opening ceremonies. He had a very special relationship with the late Doug Orr. This continues today with Bobby and Michael's support for all of our events. His voice has serenaded us many times, and as Don Cherry said, his version of Danny Boy has become a special favorite in this room. As we celebrate his tenth this 10th anniversary, it is truly a privilege to welcome Michael Burgess as an honored member of the Bobby Orr Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Burgess. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Bobby. Um, I just started out to be an actor, and uh, the trail has led me uh, to many, many other things, which have nothing to do with acting and have become sort of a, another career. Um, I would never have thought 10 years ago, Bobby sitting next to you at the opening ceremonies outside of this building that I would ever be um, undergoing this wonderful privilege and honor to be a member of the Bobby Orr Hall of Fame. So uh, it's one of the greatest um, things I could ever think about. And I remember, uh, you know, when they asked me, they gave me the choice of uh, Closing Maple Leaf Gardens or opening up the Air Canada Centre. I said, that's not a choice. The Air Canada Centre is going to be there. I'll take the gardens. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, it, it, the first time I ever sang in the gardens uh, was, was a great experience because the, no one had ever used a sound system because Harold Ballard never allowed anyone to sing there. <laughs> and the sound system was just awful. It took them a year to, you know, update it and finally bring it up to date, and, but it was always such a thrill. Uh, I just got to say something about singing national anthems. Uh, it's taken me all over the world to some of the greatest events you could ever imagine, and 
As I've said to my, my friend Tom Cochran many times, and he has said to me, we are very lucky. We're lucky to be doing what we're doing and uh, being a part of all this. So um, it isn't just about being in the entertainment industry, it's, it's about people mostly. And uh, I just want to also, I, I meant to start this by uh, congratulating all my fellow inductees, M&M um, &M Meats, MasterCard, and, uh, and my good friend Tom Cochran, who, who I, I think is one of the most amazing uh, people in the entertainment business. So um, I'm proud to be here, to be a part of this, and, uh, and it's, um, it's very emotional because uh, I have a special relationship with the Orr family and with Doug and, and, and Bobby's mom and, and, uh, and I'm very, very, very grateful uh, for all of that and Perry Sound is now my second home. <laughs> so, uh, and I really, really appreciate that and I mean it and, uh, uh, and thank you all very, very much.